Good morning everyone. So today is Monday and I have a bunch of stuff going out so I thought I would come hang out with you guys and share some of the items that I have going out. I have 21 items going out on eBay. Four, I think four going out on Poshmark and two going out on Mercari. And I want to tell you about one that is not allowed on eBay. So another one of those Vero items, I guess, that you cannot put on eBay, but you can put on Poshmark. So if you ever see it out in the wild, you can pick it up and they do sell pretty well on Poshmark. So I just thought we'd do a run through before I start my shipping today and we'll just chat and see what we sold. So let's talk about the things I sold on Macari first. Only two items today for Macari, but two items is better than no items, especially these two items, which have been sitting on eBay for over a year, over a year, guys. So super happy that they sold. This one right here is Making Reborn Baby Dolls, brand new and sealed. I think I, I got this for free about a year ago and no one was interested on eBay at all. And it sold for $13 plus shipping on Mercari. And then I actually got this for free too. This is a really pretty plate. Now, y'all know that I'm not really big on glassware and things like that, but this was a Lennox and I picked this up for free at the end of an estate sale. They were just literally giving stuff away and this was there, so I thought I'd pick it up. Had it for sale on eBay for a year and did sell on Mercari for $11 plus shipping, which is pretty awesome. And then let's go to Poshmark. Poshmark, I here is the item that you cannot sell on eBay. So I don't know if y'all know this, but this is an Alpha Gamma Delta sorority shirt. Sorority items, they have copyright on them and they are fierce about their copyrights, most of the sororities and fraternities, because they make their money selling those items directly on their websites. So eBay does not allow you to sell those items. Now, it's always somehow there always seems to be some that sneak through. I think they might be from other countries or whatever, but every time I've tried, not allowed. But I listed my daughter, all of her old Alpha Gamma Delta shirts from when she was in a sorority, and they all have sold over there. I, th I think I have one more left, but this sold for $12 plus shipping on Poshmark. Then I did sell these shoes on Poshmark, which I was really happy because these are men's shoes, but they're a size seven and a half. Harder to sell the smaller sizes, these ones, in nice shape, but see, they did have a little bit of discoloration on the side. Sold these for $17 plus shipping. I did sell a pair of cabby pants over on Poshmark. I sell a lot of smaller sizes on Poshmark compared to other places, but these are like a deep plum color. It's hard to see in the bag because y'all know that I like to keep everything bagged prevents all the dust and things getting wrinkled and I just think it's a better presentation when it comes to them. These sold for $16, excuse me, these sold for $16 plus shipping. And then the last thing I sold was this little box and it's pretty cool actually. Something that I had on eBay for a year and did not sell, but look how cute this is. It's just this little bell. I love this little thing. It comes with a little thing, comes with a little mallet to go with it, but just super cute. It says it's a Zenergy Chime Solo. It's a Woodstock Chime, it says right there. It comes in the original box and it did sell for $12 on Poshmark. Now, let me tell you, so those are all items that I sold in the last two days on Poshmark or and Macari. But guys, I wouldn't be making a single sale over there if it wasn't for me cross-listing on Bendu. I tell you all the time, now it's changed. Reselling has changed and you can't put your eggs in one basket anymore. I was a holdout forever and I said, until they do delisting automatically, I'm not interested. Well, guess what? Vendu now does automatic sales detection and delisting for you on both eBay and Poshmark. So if your item sells on eBay or Poshmark, it will take it it will take that item off of 
all the platforms that you have, not just eBay and Poshmark. Cause I was a little confused at first, wondering if I sold something on Poshmark, would it only come off eBay? But no, it comes off every platform that you have. So Depop, Kitizen, Grailed, Vestier Collective, wherever you have it, Facebook Marketplace, all of those places, it'll come off all of those platforms for you. So seriously, what are you waiting for? It, it is money well spent. And I have the link below if you want to save 25% off your first month. It's a great time to be doing that because you are going to be surprised at how quickly fourth quarter is going to be here. And you want to have your items in as many places as you can to make more sales. I'm all about making more sales. And it has so paid for itself every single month tenfold. So loving it myself. All right, now that we're going to get on with some of the things that sold on eBay. Now, I sold 21 items this weekend for a total of $757, so I'm super happy about that. Um, I have not been doing very well with, with listing, so I am trying to take a page out of James, my boring reseller life, and Paul Philly Flipper, because they are consistent, consistent listers. So I said that I really have to get back on listing every single day because I've been terrible about it, you guys. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So I'm committed to listing every single day and see if that helps my sales. But I was happy, you know, pretty good sales this weekend. So let me show you some of the cooler items that I sold. This doesn't look like anything, right? It's a paint by numbers, vintage from the 70s. So somebody took a paint by number and finished it and now they are selling this one sold for thirty dollars plus shipping now i did have some bigger ones that sold for more but 30 bucks for a little paint by numbers are you kidding me that's amazing and my mom actually picked all those up so i can't even take credit for it because i would have passed it by then I actually have bought these from an online auction. Um, I, I bought 10 of them at one time. I used to love this show so much. I don't have cable anymore, so I'm sure they're on somewhere, but this was a really great, great show for me. I am down to only having two of these left. This one sold for $17.05 plus shipping. So really good for just this little action figure. This box I actually got from my sister. Really cool, right? Super heavy, guys. Super heavy. I actually just went by what other people had theirs listed for. Has a big metal clasp. There you go. Here's the inside. Let's see. I said vintage Netter Petty Kerala India jewelry box. Wooden metal chest, 14 by 9.5 and it sold for $40 on best offer. So I was super happy with that. Then I sold this right here, Mama, another item mom picked up for a few dollars. She thought it was complete, but it ends up being only the, the two exercise machines in here, not the um, lockers and a couple other pieces. But as it is with the parts that were included, we sold this for $24 plus shipping. So that was a pretty good one. Back when Ross had their 49 cent sales, I picked up a couple of these Aeropostel hoodies. I did pay a dollar for these. And I sold this one for $14.36 plus shipping. So that was a pretty good investment. Alan Flesser is not a great brand, but this one, if you look, is 100% pure cashmere. Anytime I see pure cashmere, I usually will pick it up. This one was a size large, yellow, and it sold for $20 plus shipping. I did so look how cute these are. They're little dwarfs. I don't have seven of them. I only have three. And then Snow White. Uh, these ones sold for $15 plus shipping. I did pick up an Axis and Allies board game. It wasn't complete. It was from 2012. What does Kevin Commonwealth Picker say? When in doubt, part it out. So that's what I've done. These are the infantry men. So I have sold every other set, all the pieces to this, even the board. So the only thing I had left for these, and they sold for $11.66. But guys, I have made so much money from piecing it out, way more than I could have ever made if I just sold the board game. So definitely don't miss the opportunity to part things out because you can make really good money that way. 
I did have some lower dollar clothes I thought I would show you. This is a Ricky Rudd shirt. It's number 28 NASCAR shirt. I think I paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale. It only sold for $9, but I'm glad to get rid of it. The reason I wanted to show you this is because Leroy Blood, Sweat and Sell, he is part of the Reseller Information Network, and he said his motto is list it low and let it go. So I've really been trying to make better offers on items that have been sitting. I don't want to have a storage facility. I want my items to be selling and going out the door as much as possible. So when someone made me a $9 offer, I was like sold. Even though I wanted like $16 for it, I would rather it go to someone else than me sitting in my inventory waiting for maybe somebody to buy it someday. So it's a really good advice. If your sales are slow, list it low and let it go. Thanks, Leroy. I appreciate the tip. Then I did sell, oh man, I love these vintage Levi shorts. I When I listed them, I said dad shorts because they are total dad shorts. I picked up, I think like eight pairs of these and almost all have sold. Let me see. Oh, I have three more pairs of these left, but I had like eight pairs total. These sold for $18 plus shipping. Oh, dad shorts. But definitely use Relax Fit dad shorts and they'll sell for you. Um, I did pick this up. I'm not sure why. Anyone ever heard of this? Honey and Lace Maximum Style. It almost sounds like like an Amazon private label dress. I'm not sure, but I did let it go for $11. I'm just happy to get rid of it. This I would not pick up again. I'm not sure why I did other than the print was cute. It's a bra. Guys, I sell bras a lot, so don't be afraid to pick up bras. But this one is a weird brand, Sophie B. I don't even know where that's from. It was a 36 double D. I've had this for a long bit and it did finally sell for $7.42 plus shipping. But I have less than a quarter into this because I got it at the bins. So I'm happy that it sold. And honestly, I probably would have taken $5 for it just to get it gone. And I want to show this item. This is a Carol Ann doll. It's a Goble doll. This is kind of funny. I actually picked up this doll from Nady Pie on his auction. No one wanted this poor little girl. She's Halloween, says Boo. I think I finally paid $2 because he couldn't get anyone to buy her. And I put her on eBay just, I, did, I didn't know if she was worth anything. And I was really happy that she did sell for $15. So you just never know. Take a chance on weird. Weird sells for sure, guys. And here's another item. Mom picked this up. This is a backpack. It's a Vash, Vashi backpack. It's like super nice, but it's just an Amazon, I'm sure private label. Uh, she picked it up for a few dollars, but this sold for $26.95 plus shipping. So I think she probably paid three or four dollars. So I was super happy with that. So thanks mom. Mom's been doing pretty good with finding some really good deals lately. And the last item that I sold was my best sale this weekend for sure. It's too big, so I'm gonna just pop up a picture right here. This is a commercial hot water dispenser. It is for you know a commercial kitchen or for a big break room so that you can get instant hot water for French press coffees, hot chocolate, tea, whatever you need. This I actually got for free. Sometimes, if y'all know, I have another channel called Reviews by Angie Resells, and sometimes companies will send me products in order for me to do a review for them that they put on their website or whatever. And this was one of the items that they sent me for review and it sold for $150 plus shipping. It's going to Texas. So I'm super happy. Okay. So my goals for the week, guys, I think it's important that I set my goals right out every week because it makes me accountable. Does that make sense? So I hope you have goals for this week too. My goal is to list every day. I'm not sitting like I have to do a minimum number, but I want to be committed to listing every single day. At least Monday through Friday this week, I have to list. And that means even on Tuesday when I'm doing my live listing, I gotta still be actually be listing something on that day. I do want to, you see my office here, right? It is a disaster. It's a disaster. Oh my gosh, let me show you. It's a disaster. Look at that pile. 
Oh yeah, we got piles on piles. Show you the behind the scenes disaster area that it is. And this right here, this is from us babysitting baby dog yesterday, my daughter's little puppy. He was a train wreck and we just couldn't deal with it. We left all the toys out. We're like, we'll clean it up today. But my goal this week then is listing every day trying to work on this office and get it sorted. I do have an auction on Saturday because I'm trying to get rid of some stuff and I'm trying to do a plush whatnot this week. Lots going on and I want to be more committed to you guys and putting out content here because I think it's important for me to put out content because then it keeps me accountable. So I hope you're going to be here. I hope you're going to join with me and setting some goals for yourself this week and trying to stick with them. It's the middle of summer, I know, but guess what? We are less than three months away from fourth quarter when you can be making tons of sales. So ramping up is a great thing to start doing now. When it's raining or it's too hot, get in there and get some of your work done for your business. And if you have not thought about cross-listing yet, again, let me tell you, give Vendu a try. You can go over there and sign up and try five listings for free without any commitment at all. Don't worry about that. You can just try it and see if you like it, if you think you can do it. Mom has listed all 3,000 of our items herself, and she's going to be 70 this year. So it is very easy to learn, very, very easy to do. You can do it on your phone in their app. They're the only ones like it that have an app. You don't have to open tons of windows because it's a Chrome extension, so it stays right there. Super easy to, to list very, very, very easy to learn. Don't be intimidated. And so they have a free training class every Wednesday that takes one hour. It's not like you have to interact. She just explains everything to you. That is so, so, so helpful. And if you have questions about Vendu, reach out to me. I'm definitely here to help you. I want you to be successful. And I was the holdout for years, guys. I said, I don't need cross-listing, but guess what? Business is changing and I can't rely just on eBay. You never know what's gonna happen. So I want to be able to have plenty of opportunities to have side hustles, essentially, have my eggs in multiple baskets, not all in one that could come crashing down. So I want that for you too. So let's get thinking about our business, getting ready for fourth quarter, getting ready to ramp up our sales, guys. I believe in you, you can do it. Let's work together this week to really make some solid goals for our businesses and we're gonna do it together. And don't forget, tomorrow is live listing. Hope you can be there one to three central time.